All right, thanks, Don. The experts will tell you that Hampton Roads is hum home to some of the best fishing in the world, but believe it or not, not everybody uses a rod and reel. Ten on your side, Jason Marks introduces us to some fishermen who prefer to spend their days away from the boat. Uh, if you want to learn about fishing, you come to me. At Atlantic Bait and Tackle. This cooler has blue crabs in it. Tony Baumhauer. Blue crabs are used primarily as tot tog bait. Knows how easy it is. You could fish all of your life and not even learn half. To feel like a fish out of water. Am I tall, short? Do I want a long rod? Do I want a short rod? It's a tough sport to tackle. Some are for trout, some are for spade fish, some are for puppy drums. Sounds a bit fishy, right? Oh yeah. Uh, then you have fresh water and you have salt water. But in this ocean of lures, could be live bait, could be artificial bait. You'll find a sea of ways to hook the big one. No one knows that better. Yeah, the adventure definitely. Really than nice these about. three friends. On this boat, you'll find no rod. No reel or no lure. So I can stand here and throw a rod, but if the fish are hungry, they'll 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 hit it. It doesn't matter if I'm spear fishing. I'm gonna go get them. Notice your gun is quite larger than, than the other two. I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're neutral. Go for it. The Chesapeake Bay, murky water and all, might not seem to be the ideal place to spear fish. But these bottom dwellers beg to differ. I've had my fair share of experiences where very large animals run into me in low vis. What might seem at times like shooting fish in a barrel. But yeah, hunting around here is, a, is definitely a challenge. So we dive all over the world in search of the biggest, coolest fish. Actually happens as far down as 100 feet. It's you against the fish. Once you drop down under the water, everything's totally different. It's a lot of chaos up on the surface, but it's a lot more peaceful down below. Sometimes the visibility offshore can just get, you know, 60 plus feet. It's amazing. And they're doing all of this on only one breath. When you take down your prey, there's a fight, you know, and you got one breath of air to do it. You just kind of have to be at peace with a lot of the unknown, I think. Some might say these guys and gal are a little off, if you know what I mean. Some people, though, might say you're crazy. Yeah, and you can say that, you know, but it, um, it keeps me, uh, it keeps things exciting, keeps life moving, and I enjoy it. No, we're about as rare as chicken's teeth. You know, let them say what they want. That's fun. No better example of that than Kelsey Albert, considered one of the world's best. The total. There's no chance for a snag in her line. But getting off the boat, oh, that's a different story. It's easy to get caught up and the excitement. Did you get that? That was hilarious. <laughs> One after another. Fish after fish. Soon to end up on the dinner table. Except one. Yeah, I call him the Big Daddy. There's a giant barracuda around here and um, he's being shy today. Big Daddy continues to be the big winner. But Reyes Rena plans to turn the page on this fish's tail. He's a pretty big fish and my goal is to take him down. Of course, with the reward. There's definitely a meat going on the table at the end of the day. Come some risks. I've had sharks come up on me and I've bumped into sharks before. It's spooky. Their education is found in schools of fish. I'm learning more and more every time I come out. But while most people wouldn't dare to step off the boat, a day on the water for these fishermen usually is spent below it. For a moment in time, you're actually with another species. For photojournalist Nick Marone, Jason Marks, 10 on your side. Wow, that was something. If you're interested in trying out this growing sport, contact the Mid-Atlantic Long Fin Club. We've put a link to their website on our website, wavy.com.